here at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in Tokyo, Japan. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me for a tour of the studio. I am so excited to be here. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So yes, we are here at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour here in Tokyo, Japan. I am so excited to be here. We have actually stopped at the Frog Cafe and we grabbed some coffees because we were kind of running here. We are kind of running late, but it's okay. My mom's in the restroom right now, so I'm just waiting for her to get back. It is super hot in here. I do have my robe, but I'm already sweating, so I did take them off. I brought my wand. I've got my Weasley and Weasley bag and I have this little dress on. It has the Deathly Hollows on the collar. This is from Hot Topic, and I'm just happy to be here, but <laughs> please bear with me as I'm probably gonna be sweating through this entire tour, but that's fine. We are here and it is so lovely and beautiful, and we're just in the front room right now. They have like the food court over here. They have this little frog cafe. They have where you can do the gift shop, and then you enter the actual tour. So. You're gonna be heading there right now. Here is the Frog Cafe. So there's a bunch of different sweets and treats you can get here and some drinks. And there's even this really cute themed booth that looks like a chocolate frog box. And then beyond that is the food court or the great hall, I guess I should say. And it has all of the Hogwarts houses represented on top. It's super gorgeous in here. So here's the menu for the Frog Cafe, if you want to kind of screenshot that. Here are all the different art that you can get on your lattes. Very cute. And then here are all the sweets. House themed ones, Dementor, house themed donuts. So many things. Look at that. The Sorcerer's Stone, Niffler, Happy Birthday Harry, and a bunch of different cakes. And here are some of the drinks. They look like. They look amazing. Ice cream. Some up close of the donuts. And some of the cupcakes. Really cute over here. I love it. Here is the tour entrance. And right in this main lobby area, that's where the gift shop is. Here is the food hall. And then the frog cafe. So you enter over there. and we are about to walk into the studio tour. We're so excited, let's go. All right, as you walk in, you can see all of these iconic scenes from the movies. This looks amazing. Look. Oh. I love them. Hagrid and Harry. Ron and Hermione. We even have a Newt Scamander. So we're in the Great Hall. Here's the front where all the professors are. You've got Dumbledore Snape. We've got Professor Flitwick. We've got Hagrid. The stained glass window. It is so gorgeous in here. We gotta get some close up of the table. It's very crowded. I tried to run to the front. This next room we have the architect representing all the houses and Hogwarts. And then we also have the moving staircases and portraits. It's so cool in here. It is very crowded. This is like the reality of the crowdedness. So if I look up, pretty. 
right, so in this section, the staircase moves and there's these moving portraits. So this is an interactive feature that you can add yourself into one of these portraits. It's super easy too. So let me show you how you do it. So you head over here and you have to scan these QR codes. So you scan this okay. QR code, you log in, and then you'll get your own QR code to scan on one of these screens over here. I'll show you. So you head on over here. You have to wait in line. English. Tap to start. And then you show this QR code to the scanner. You have 15 So now we walk back over here to try to find where that portrait could be. And here's how our picture turned out. Look at us. <laughs> These are so much fun. Okay, so I just showed you the portrait room, which is so fun and interactive. I love all the features in here. So you can be your very own moving portrait, which is so amazing. You can see the moving staircase. It's so cool in here. So I just like left this room, but that is it all behind me and now we're gonna be going into the next room but I love this one I'm like which one is gonna top that because that was so much fun we spent so much time in there me and my mom did some together I did some by myself and I met up with Candace I'll try to insert the video that we did together here it was so cool so yes I love it highly highly recommend spending some time in here because it's too much fun but now let's go into the next one I think we're going into the common room area so right now we're being greeted by the fat lady here is the fat lady. We got her information here. So gorgeous. I love the framework here. And then we're going into my common room, the best common room, the Gryffindor common room. Here is the Gryffindor common room. You can even see some of the actresses' outfits back there. I wish I could be sitting in one of these comfy chairs right now. It looks so cozy. There's even the famous fireplace where Sirius Black shows his face through. He's not here right now. Oh, it's so nice. Oh my gosh, look up here. You've got Ron and Harry in their Christmas jumpers. That is such a nice touch. love this area. I want my bedroom to look like this. This is why my carpet I picked out. It looks similar to this. Definitely going for these vibes. Oh, it's so gorgeous. The windows, everything. All right, let's go to the Slytherin common room. We've got Draco. My father will hear about this. And then we've got, I think, Crab and Goyle, maybe? I'm sure the signs probably are telling me, I'm just guessing. But let me give you a close-up. Here is the Slytherin fireplace. You've got their chairs, very like dark academia vibes. And then you got little young Draco. Oh, this is the polyjuice potion scene when they're in the Slytherin common room. So this is really Harry and Ron, disguised as a crab and goyle. That's so fun. Oh, I love how it looks. And then, this is inside their room. You can see the Chudley Cannon posters. So cool. Some scarves. This towel says Gryffindor. It's amazing. So the next set is going to be a Quidditch filming experience. So it looks like we get to film ourselves in the stands of the Quidditch pitch match. That looks like so much fun. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. So here is the filming experience. It looks like you get with a group and you're all gonna cheer. They're going to direct you on what to do. And then afterwards, you're going to show up on the screen. See, everyone's filming it. Oh, that's so cool.
was us in the films watching the Gryffindor beat Slytherin in the films. Like, how cool is that? We got to be in the audience. I thought that was so much fun. And mom, what did you think? Did you like it? That was so much fun. It, it really looked really was. cool. I love this place. Yes. Now we're going into the room of requirement and then I think it's Dumbledore's study right next to that. So let's take a peek inside. Here is the room of requirements. You've got like all these fun little magical <laughs> artifacts. Like the Quidditch cup in here. Like what? That's amazing. You got the dark arts dummy that they used when they were doing the Dumbledore's army scenes. This is so cool. I love all these like fun pieces in the room. This is going to detect some dark magic. <laughs> Professor Trelawney stashing some things. So many random bits in here. When they slept in here. Wow. Over here we have Dumbledore's office with Dumbledore himself and Fox. <gasps> Fox is moving. Can you see it? <laughs> Here's a Dumbledore. <laughs> Super impressive office. <gasps> the vials, the vials are moving, his memory vials. So cool. I want this. <laughs> Everything in his cabinets. All of the other headmasters' portraits. On this side, too. Alright, let me see if I can get a better view. You can see Fox is moving. So cute. So now it looks like we are walking into the props room. There are so many cool things from the films in here, like the dirigible plums. Look at this. Luna loves goods. Dirigible plums with her sign and everything. How amazing. Here is some information about the props. And what's in this room. We're gonna have like what the love potions are sitting on, ice sculpture, the candy trolley. Oh my gosh, the Weasley Claw. How cool. Bang Fire, Azkaban outfit. Wow. And on the opposite wall, we have some dark arts props. So we've got some outfits here. We've got Bellatrix the Strange, Lucius Malfoy. Look at her shoes. And then here we've got some of the masks. It looks like an interactive feature is here as well. We should check it out. Let's do English. Design your own Death Eater mask. Start. Ooh, okay, which one should we pick? Begin this one. Next. Oh, that looks sick. Ooh, this one. Pretty. Next. Now the color. Begin that. Ooh. Yes. Next. I've just created my mask. I think it's gonna go on the Oh, it tells me where it is. So it is. There are many questions to ask at the beginning of the program. It's going to be showing up right here. Oh, there's my mask! That was really fun. What a cool feature. You can make your own Death Eater mask. Here is some um, love potion. You can tell because it's pink. I love this potion's classroom room, but it is very crowded. But here are a bunch of different potions. We've got a green one over here. We've got this little desk prop set here. It's so fun. 
So we just left the potion room and now we're in this like, it's like the Hogwarts classes room, I believe. So we have some professors over here. We've got the dark arts class over there. So let me show you some of the professors in their outfits. And then we also have the mirror parasite in this room. Here are the professors. So we've got McGonagall, Flitwick, and we have Professor Trelawney. And then over here we do have the Amir of Arised. But there is this huge queue to wait and take your picture with it. It is so cool though. Uh, I kind of want to wait to get a picture. And then we have the Dark Arts class. We've got Dolores Umbridge and some other professors for her calculates are so cute. Here's Voldemort and Nagini, and then we have the proclamation wall. It is time for us to head into the Forbidden Forest. You have to have your wits about you. Here is the entrance into the Forbidden Forest. You've got the two boars. It's gonna get dark in here. All right, we are entering in to the Forbidden Forest. Do you see that up ahead? We've got Buckbeak and Hagrid. Oh wow, it looks like you can bow to him. <laughs> so cool. And then you've got the Weasley car back there. Oh, I love it. It's getting really dark and spooky out here. Ooh, what is that? Dementor, Dementor! Patronus over here. And you can expel all of the Dementors. That's so fun. Sounds like spiders. Ew, spider webs. Who is it? Hagrid. Is that Air you? Dog. Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. Go. I think not. My sons and daughters do not harm Hagrid on my command. But I cannot deny them fresh meat when it wanders so willingly into our midst. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. Now we are outside. We have Hagrid's hut out here. This is the Backlot Cafe back here. So I have to show you some of Hagrid's hut. It's so cute and it feels great outside. Like honestly better than it does inside. So let me turn the camera around and show you Hagrid's hut. Here is Hagrid's hut. It is so beautiful. You can actually sit on these pumpkins out here and get some good pictures. And then just beyond that way, there is a cafe. But it's so cute, you can see a scarecrow. I absolutely love it. Here is the menu to the Backlot Cafe. So we've got these Hogwarts meal sets. And then we've got some sides, some drinks you can get here. Some a la carte menu for kids vegetarian options, and even some dessert. Like, look at that cute Hedwig cake. And then you order it here. We are just in line waiting to order. So here's everything we got. We got the Hedwig cake. How cute is she? I got the fish and chips. And then my mom got the Hufflepuff dinner plate. So this is the chicken, and there's this like little mandrake. I think it might be a potato. We've got like a whole feast here. We got our butter beers. We got some popcorn. We are ready to dig in. So I got some butter beer, and you get it in a souvenir glass. And I'm excited to try it. See if it tastes any different from the parks. But let's give it a try. All right. Cheers. It's super refreshing right now. So I don't know, maybe because I'm really thirsty, but I'm really loving this. Maybe similar to the one in New York a little bit, but I feel like maybe a little less sweet, but I love it. So here is the Hedwig cake, the inside of it anyway. So let's see if I can possibly turn it to better lighting. Let's see, okay. So inside, this is like a whipped 
frosting. And then there's like a custard, banana, strawberry, like filling. And then a light vanilla cake. And then a bunch of fruit as well. This was super tasty, I would highly recommend it. And then for the Hubble Puff plate, we clearly love this one as well. The little pot here was like a mashed potatoes and the little ball that was the mandrake was like a bread and cheese. And then the fish and chips here, we have pretty much demolished everything. It was so good. The only thing left is the popcorn. My mom has finished her butterbeer. I still have to finish mine. There's still so much food. I'm Here chosen. is inside of Hagrid's hut. Got Hagrid and Fang, his lantern, and then there's a room inside here. And here is Hagrid's bed with all his bears. This is funny. I just showed you inside Hagrid's hut. They also have the Weasley car, the Ford Angula. There's a long line to take a picture with it. So I think we're gonna pop over to the other side of the lot and see what's going on there and maybe come back and see if the line is dwindled down a little bit. So we're gonna head on over here now. They have the night bus back here. You can take photos on this back side. All right, so we have a number four pivot drive. You can see outside, there's a line to get in. So let's head on in. This is Harry's cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> So cool to see. <laughs> and then here is the living room with all the litters exploding. We've got Dudley knocked down, Aunt March blown up, Harry and Petunia. So cool. They even have all this food. It looks so realistic. So that was number four at Pivot Drive. I love being able to see Harry's room under the stairs and then all the letters and Marge blown up. That was really cool. Another feature they have outside is the bridge. You can take some pictures here. It's so gorgeous. We just finished with the back lot. Now we're heading back through the tour that's inside. So it looks like we're going into a platform of nine and three quarters. Let's go. All right, there's lots of brick. It's looking like the platform. Got some trolleys. Oh, and a lot of people. is really cool. Let's see who's in this first trolley. Harry and Ron. And this next one we got Draco and his Slytherin friends. So cool. We got Ginny. Some other Gryffindors. I don't know if that's Neville or not. Dementor scene from Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, that's so cool. Like I'll never be cheerful again. More Dementors. I think that's Fred and George. And then we have another Dementor at the end of the train. They even have a little platform gift shop where they have a bunch of these headbands. This Hedwig one is so cute. We got Fox the Phoenix, we got a really cute Mandrake one, Norbert. 
than a sorting hat. Let's see what it's like inside. All right, inside. Little checkout area. Hi. Got some plushies. Socks. Hand towels. Coin purse that turns into a bag. That's useful. Lots of platform merch. Little baggies. And here are some buttons I've never seen. Cute. Different. Over here we've got some Christmas merch. So cute. Look at these ornaments. This super soft hoodie. A Hogwarts letter in it. A really cute mug. Oh, love this snow globe. We got a Hagrid ornament, more trunks, another checkout, and then we got some house merch. <laughs> About everything in this shop. Here they show you how they make a lot of their props, but this next room is super impressive. We're going into the ministry. This ministry of magic is absolutely stunning. Look at the tile, it's so massive. It looks amazing in here, and you can actually go through the blue powder. All right, let me show you. You can take pictures. Then they have the actual magic one, which is really cool. And then look how massive this room is. Super impressive. We are now leaving the ministry, and we're going into the shop. And right as you enter, we've got a Hungarian horn tail to greet you as you walk into the creature shop. We've got a giant haggard head as well. It looks really cool. Here is his animatronic head. And we've got how they made the birds move, like Hedwig. Konnichiwa. Happy birthday. You might know me better as Nick Scarab. To the creature. Werewolf suit. Oh, look at that. It is so magnificent. Wow. Behind the scenes filming Fastless. magic. All related to the magical creatures that it has. So they have Victor's head as a shark. We've got a mermaid. The basculus. Dragon head. The Ukrainian iron belly. And then we've got the goblins and how they created everything. I recognize that head. That's Warwick Davis. Goblin makeover. They look so good. And look how cute Dobby is. I absolutely love him. This one is actually so cute where he doesn't actually look scary or creepy. I love this version. There's also Creature. And then we've got some fantastic beasts. We got Newt explaining some things about them. Shows you all the steps like texture, composition. Let's see what's in here. Some bow truckle. Maybe a little picket over here. It's so cute. Looks like we are getting into the Quidditch area and how they flew on their broomsticks. Let me show you. There's no photography. Now we're going into the sound. It's 85% of film, art of sound area. To capture audio on set, we use a variety of microphones. This is a wireless lavalier mic. We hook it to the actor's costume and it feeds directly. Let me show you all the different textures I use to make sound. That's really cool. We are now heading into a Diagon Alley. This looks amazing. The whole set for the Diagon Alley scenes. Got Ollivanders. You've got Weasley Wizard Wheezes, Flourish and Blots, Slug and Jiggers. So amazing. Owl 
Emporium. You can see the Nimbus 2001 through the window. Fred and George Weasley outside their shop. Puking Pastel Girl. Over here we've got a lot of signs, it looks like. Giant Harry Potter Undesirable Number One sign. We got the Black Family Tapestry with all the burned out marks. They're serious. Then we've got some Honey Dukes candy. This giant every flavor beans. Some pumpkin juice inside and other sweets. Weezy with their Weezy's product. You can see all around Hogwarts. This is so stunning. Now here is from like the ground level. So you can see the boathouse and then up into Hogwarts. How beautiful is that? So we're at the end of the studio tour and we're left off into the gift shop. I will give you a tour of the gift shop, show you some of the items. I'm gonna look for more items that you can't really find other places. So any like Tokyo exclusives.